Welcome back fellas into this new video of TechPress. Today I'm going to be showing you which is best, Infinity Free versus the free hosting. So both are really great applications that can be helping you for WordPress beginners. And today I'm going to be showing you just a few uh, recommendations between which one suits for you the best. First of all, to compare free hosting services always involves waiting limitations and resource caps. Because for a WordPress beginner, the best option, uh, a sort of saying, is the one that offers the most generous resources with the easiest setup. Uh, this is what I think for beginners that everybody must, must be uh, interested in. So for example, the first thing that I can tell you a little bit about Infinity Free is that this one has a disk space storage up to uh, 5 gigabytes. And into free hosting, I believe that this one has up to 10 gigabytes, a little bit more than uh, Infinity Free. Now, for beginner, I believe that the free hosting does a really great work or better work. Now, speaking about the bandwidth, which is the traffic, uh, for Infinity Free is unlimited. And of course, into free hosting is unmetered, which is subject to fair use and a few limitations. So, it's a little bit, let's say that's technically unlimited, but have soft CPIU and entry limits. So I believe that this part is tied, speaking about the bandwidth. Now, speaking about the WordPress installer, the uh, Infinity Free works with something called the Sauteculous application installer. And this one has, with just one click, we have more than 400 scripts. And Free Hosting has the one click installer for major applications like. Um, the WordPress. So I believe like for beginners, the best option of course should be Infinity Free because Subtaculous is industry standard and is robust. Now, speaking about the control panel, when you have access to the control panel, uh, the basic panel of the custom C panel I like is really great and the C panel for direct administrator, it's totally depending on the actual plan that you chose to have. So in my criteria, I believe the free hosting standard panel is slightly more familiar. And now speaking about something really important, which is the SSL certificate. Yes, uh, the website builder for free is provided. And directly here in C free hosting, they don't have an SSL. You need to purchase it or have it into a third party services. So I believe that Infinity Free does a really great work. Now, speaking about if there are going to be appearing ads into your website, the answer is no, there won't be ads appearing into your website in the actual website builder infinity free uh neither into free hosting but they don't provide for example email accounts which in the free hosting i believe they provide you with one email uh account that we can have of, totally for free of course and then the sql databases which is up to 400 databases into infinity free but here into free hosting they only have one of them so infinity free you can host many more test site and project which is going to be really really awesome and the last and really really important is the domain and free subdomains so you can have custom domains and free subdomains in both so i believe this one is a tie but speaking about um, a little bit more of a overall recommendation, which is which is of course better for for, for you or, or for everybody. I believe that Infinity Free is the best option because this one comes with a free SSL included, and I believe that this is non-negotiable for any modern website because it's provided for free. Whether it's free hosting requires you to buy one or a third-party solution. And it's going to be really, really important to have an SSL certificate. If you don't have one, you must need to purchase one when you have an actual website totally for free. And what happens with the Softaculous and multiple databases, because the robust Softaculous installer makes a flawless WordPress setup easy. You have 400 SQL databases, means you can easily create and test multiple WordPress sites without running into database limits, which are going to be really, really awesome. Now for the runner app, for example, free hosting does a better work because uh, we have 10 gigabyte storage, free email account, which is going to be really useful for primary goal to host logic. However, there's a lack of free SSL, which I think is significantly drawback for beginners WordPress side. So 
tip for beginners, both services are free hosting and will restrict free souls to use limits. Uh, the can cause slowdowns and temporary suspensions if your site gets too much traffic or you use too many complex plugins. For beginners, you can try out with free hosting. And if you're getting starting to get more traffic, you can move on to the Infinity Free, right? So this is just uh, a quick, um, let's say, comparison between both of them. I believe that both does really great work. Everybody, uh, uh, they have their own stuff, and I think they really do a really great work with the website builder, the maps, and all that. So uh, hopefully, guys, was a very useful information for you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more great tools so how we can get started uh, with web hosting, uh, free hosting, and of course the M Fantasy Free. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hopefully, with all this being said, we can see you guys next time.